A Riverina veteran has spoken out about the positive benefits of owning an assistance dog to manage post-traumatic stress. Now he wants others to know that the service is available as an option when medication simply doesn't work. Craig Gambler and Yasmin are best buds, but there's more to this story than meets the eye. Yasmin gives me the confidence to talk about um, my condition, whereas I would never open up, not, not publicly or personally to a lot of people. Two years ago, Mr Ambler applied for a service dog through Veteran Affairs after his symptoms of PTSD started escalating. He says Yasmin has helped stabilise his symptoms and is better managing life after service. There is a clockwork going with Yasmin. I've got to get up. The first thought is Yasmin. Uh, and that's a good thing because it distracts you from your, if you've had a bad night. Yasmin was trained by Guide Dogs Australia and then Integra over a two-year period. She protects Mr Ambler at work and can wake him at night if he's had a nightmare. It's all about sensing and lowering cortisol levels while releasing dopamine. Through the same amazing sense of smell, sort of let you know that they're with you, they lean in on you, or if you're sitting down, they'll jump up in your lap and just say, it's, it's OK, I'm here with you, you're OK. Dogs are also being used by psychologists as therapy dogs. Different to service dogs, they aren't matched with a person, but help in private practice. Dogs just have this nature and willingness to please, and they want to connect with people. So that's part of our temperament testing, actually, is making sure that the right dog is doing the right job. Mr Ambler says others, particularly soldiers and veterans, shouldn't be afraid to look into these avenues to manage mental health. And a young soldier or an older soldier that needs help to seek it, to get it. Don't, don't suffer in silence. Marla Summer, 7 News.